Hi, I'm Patty Kennedy's Afred. I'm from Murraysville, Pennsylvania, just outside of Pittsburgh. And this is my piece, Tagged. Um, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. For me, working recently in series and in historical imagery, one, pe one picture can lead to the production of a quilt, a series of quilts, and in this case, on the Japanese internment, this is, I have now completed five. Um, the picture that grabbed me was this piece of the mother and the baby and the tags they were wearing. At the time, I didn't understand the picture. I didn't know anything about the Japanese internment. It led me on a months-long investigation of study, watching videos online from the JARDA website of people's experiences, and a months-long process of getting permission to use copyrighted images from the University of Berkeley in particular. Um, I did not know her name, and she wanted to keep her life private. She died, however, in November of 2014. Her name was Fumiko Hayashida. She lived to be 103 years old. Wow. And her daughter revealed her story very publicly and in great detail. It's very moving. I wanted to do a piece particularly about the children. There were 30,000 children put in the internment camps across um, that were living on the west coast of California. It was, a, like I said, a story I didn't know anything about. All the pieces are named tagged because they were all tagged. And the tags that are on the quilt are pretty much duplications of the actual size with the information that the government used to tag them, to put them on a train or a bus to a location that they thought was they were going to be at for a couple months and they were at for a very long time. Um, and so I really wanted to tell their story and I continue to tell their story at least five times. <laughs> <laughs>